Hey there, we're going to talk about copyrights and your website, not the legal concept of copyrights, rather this little blurb that's probably on most of your websites that says copyright 2021 or whatever the date is. And we're going to talk about how you can write code and insert that into your Wix site to automatically pick up the year. Even if you have never written code before, even if that word just sends chills down your spine and makes you break into a cold sweat, you are going to be able to do this by the end of this video. So let's get right into it. You know, what we talk about with our clients and with our team is automate what can be reliably automated. Take the pressure off yourself rather than putting it onto you. If you can automate this and never have to think about it again, do it. All right. So this is the website we're going to change. Let's hop over to the editor. You can see I'm all the way down at the bottom. First thing we want to do is turn on dev mode. We're in the editor. We go to dev mode, turn on dev mode. You'll get a lot of different windows and some what looks like code down here. This is where things can get intimidating. Don't worry. This is easy. You may not have, uh, you may not be seeing this page code column here. If it's not there, just click on this little icon that says page code and it'll pop up. All right. Then you're going to copy the code that I'll drop into the description of this video. All right. You're going to modify the text as you need. We're going to do it inside the, the editor here, just so you can see it. And then you're going to add it to this master page.js section. All right. If you could, you might see a lot of pages here. If you have a big website, just keep scrolling down till you see global parentheses site master page JS. And you can see it pops up right here. Here's your homepage. Here's your .js page. We're going to get rid of this little on ready function. It's not going to hurt if it's there, but we'll just get rid of it. Keep the code clean. We'll paste in the code that I'm going to copy into the uh, description of this video. This is the text that you're going to change, right? We're going to do it for this website here. And we're going to say, Java state period. It can look exactly like it is right here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this little ID. You can see when I mouse over, it says, oh, this, this is telling you the code is looking for an, an object, an element on the website with this ID footer copyright. It can't find it, right? That's, that's normal. We're going to fix that. We're going to select that. We're going to control C, command C in, Wind, in, uh, in Mac. We're going to go over to this text box. But first, I want to show you this text. Every text box, every element on your site has an ID. This is text 89. This is text 91. This one down here is text 92. Yours is going to be different. Don't worry if you don't see text 92. We're going to go over to this properties area here. Going to select that. We're going to paste Control V, Command V. Whoops, did I not copy? Let's try copying footer copyright. You can type it in too. We're going to paste it in footer copyright. All right. Now that little warning message is gone. Now, this is a really important step. All right. This is automatically going to insert text here, but you see it still says 2021 here. This is all placeholder text now. Whatever you type in here isn't really there. Oh, look at that. There's a typo. Interesting. All right. All right. So what we want to make sure we do is save preview and make sure it fits the way you want it to. This text might be longer or shorter or just look different on the page than what your placeholder text or previous text is. It might have wrapped to a second line. You always want to make sure that you're going back and testing it. All right. And by the way, you may see a, a, a save and test or save and run code. You may see a different link here other than preview. That's okay. But once you see it the way you want it in preview, you click publish. We'll come back over to the live site. Refresh. And there we go. 2022. You will never have to think about updating the copyright again. And, and as an added bonus, you won't be intimidated when somebody says they're adding code to your website or that you might need to add code to your website. Any questions, reach out.